Okay, the next lesson involves what happens when you have fractions and or decimals in your question. So a typical question might look like this. Okay, it looks ugly to begin with, but with one little trick, you can get rid of all fractions. The little trick is to look at the denominators, 7, 2, 7, and 4, and find a number that every denominator goes into. Okay, well, I can think that 7 and 2, 14 is a number that they go into, but 4 doesn't. So I'm going to have to go to 28. So now what I do is I'm going to write out my question and leave some spaces. And take the number 28 and multiply it by each of my terms. That's all four terms on both sides. Now watch what happens. I can do the 7 into 28. That goes 4. Multiply 4 times 5 x rays. That gives you 20 x. I can do the 2 into the 28. That goes 14. Do 14 times 3 and that leaves me with 42. This minus sign just drops down like that. Now I bump into the equal sign. And I keep going like that. 7 into 28 is 4. 4 times 4x is 16x. Bring the minus sign down. 4 into 28 is 7. 7 times 5 is 35. Okay, now at this line here, you now have suddenly no fractions appearing at all. Now you just have to cross border shock. Let's bring 16 at this way and minus 42 that way and see what we've got. 20 at is here. Plus 16 x becomes minus 16 x. We have a minus 35 there. Please don't forget the minus sign. Minus 42 becomes plus 42. The only mistake you'll probably make here is you'll forget to change the sign when things cross the border. Okay, 20 x take away 16 x, or 4 x. Minus 35 plus 42 where it's out to 7. You now take both sides and divide them by 4. And this 4 cancels this 4. So you're left with your final answer. X is 7 over 4 or 1 and 3 quarters. Or if you want to use your calculator, you'll get it as 1.75. Let's use that mess there. And that is the end of, the, that's how you work with anything with a fraction. You merely decide that, find a number that will clear every denominator, multiply by it, and magically you get to this line where no fractions appear at all. Now we'll go on and show you what happens when we have a decimal.